Today, I will share with you how to get this look on your Windows 11. Now here we have this transparent start menu. It looks super sleek with this transparency effect. Then we have also this transparent effect on our taskbar, as well as here on the notification center. Everything looks very, very nice. Now, not only that, you will also get this simple wallpaper as well as those widgets. So here on the left, you can pretty much power off your computer, restart it, or even put it to sleep with this simple widget. Then you have also this macOS inspired calendar widget, this music player widget, as well as here system resource widget, notes, as well as this Clock. Now, let me go here to the file explorer. You will also get this simple blurry effect on the file explorer as well as here on the control panel. So pretty much this is what you will get after watching this video until the end. So very simple setup, very minimal and super aesthetic. Before we dive into the tutorial, make sure that you smash up the like button if you haven't already and also subscribe to the channel as well. Your support is actually highly appreciated. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing which you want to do is pause this video and go to this link, which I will put in the video description down below. It's called windhawk.net. Now here, what you will do, you'll click on download button and you should get this .exe file. Then you will click on it and install it as you would any other program on Windows. Now, once you have it installed, you can search here for it in the start menu, click on enter and then click on yes on the admin prompt. And once you have it open, make sure that you install following modifications. The first one is translucent windows. This one will give our file explorer as well as control panel this super nice transparent look. Now the next one is called Windows 11 file explorer styler. So make sure that you also install this one. Once you have this two installed, you can go here to the details and under the settings here, you will scroll down and make sure that you enable this setting called Windows Theme Custom Rendering, then also Windows Theme Accent Colorizer, as well as Text Alpha Blending. Make sure that you put all these three to on. And then here down below, make sure that you put here under the effects from default to blur, accent blur behind. So this is very important. And then here down below, you will also enable immersive dark mode title bar, as well as this one extend effects into entire window. So pretty much just like this. And for the window corner type, make sure that you put this one to default. Now, once you've done that, click on save settings and uh, pretty much nothing should change. As you can see here, the file explorer looks like this, but here we're gonna tweak it a bit further. So let's go here back to Windhawk. Let's go back to homepage and make sure that you have this modification also installed. It's called Windows 11 File Explorer Styler. So here, go to details, then go here to the settings and under the theme, select here, this one right here, it's called Translucent Explorer 11. And then here, click on Save Settings. And now if you open here the file explorer, your file explorer should look like this. So sh everything should be transparent and it should have this really nice blurry effect behind the background. Now, even if you go here to the local disk C and click right click on it and click on properties, you should also see here this transparent effect on this window as well and also on the control panel. So if I open here the control panel, you should also see here this kind of look on this as well. In my opinion, it looks super, super nice. Now let's go further with the customization of the taskbar as well as the control panel and also the start menu. This is how the start menu looks like right here. But if we open here the Windhawk, let's go here to home and make sure that you install this modification. It's called Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. And this one will give our start menu a brand new look. Now make sure that you also install this modification. It's called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. And also this one right here, Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. So pretty much when you have all these three modifications installed, let's go here to the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Let's go here to Detail, Settings, and under the theme, I will pick this theme, which is called Down Aero. Now I will also enable this feature, disable the new Start Menu Layout. And now when you click on save settings, we can see here that we have this really nice and cool looking start menu look. We have this transparent effect here at the bottom. And also here we can click on all and have all the applications here on this menu. I think it looks super, super nice. Now let's go back to the homepage and for the Windows 11 taskbar styler, Let's go here to the details settings and let's go under the theme here. And I will select here this 
theme called translucent taskbar and let's click on save settings. We can see here that our taskbar also looks super nice right now with this translucent effect. And now for the notification center, let's go back here and let's go here under the Windows 11 notification center styler. Let's click here on the details settings and under the theme, I'm gonna select here this theme called translucent shell. Let's click here on save settings. And once you've pretty much done that, you can go here and let's see here the notification center. So we can also have this nice blurry effect on our notifications as well. And also here on the calendar. In my opinion, it looks super, super nice. Now let's also add a different wallpaper. And speaking of the wallpaper, if you guys are interested in my brand new wallpaper pack, I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. And now let's talk about this wallpaper, which I found here on this website. So it's this wallpaper right here. And what you will do here, you will just click on download original and you should save this image on your computer. Now, once you have it here, you can just click here and set as background. And this should set this image as your background. Now, if you also want this same image as your lock screen wallpaper, you will just open it with double left click. And then here inside the photos app, click on the three dots, click here on set as, and then here select lock screen. And that way, if I go here to the start menu, click on this button and click on lock, we can also see here that we have this same lock screen wallpaper as we do on our desktop. Let's install a few widgets right now. So the first thing which you will have to do here is to install Rainmeter. I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. Just go to this website, rainmeter.net, and then click on download button and make sure that you install this program on your computer. It's the same as you would install any other program on Windows 11. And now once you have it installed, you can go here to the all applications and search for the Rainmeter right here. Here. And now for the widgets, you can go here to your desktop once again, and let's search for MII power. This will give our desktop this really nice looking skin, as you can see here on the skin samples on this website. This is the skin which we are gonna add to our desktop. And here you can click on download and you should get this RM skin file. And don't install it right now because we are gonna download a few more of the widgets. So the next one is called Monterey Rainmeter. And then go here to this GitHub page and click on this file. And then let's go to the next one, which is called Jack's Core. And go to this website and then click here on download and you should get the installer as well. Now, once you have pretty much every single installer downloaded inside your downloads folder, you can go here, click on downloads and then here start installing. Make sure that you have here Rainmeter up and running inside the system tray. And first, let's install MII Power. Just up left click on it and then here click on install. And once you have it installed, you can go here to the system tray, double left click on the Rainmeter icon, and then here you will find MII Power folder. Here, let's go to inside the Power folder and click on W. W stands for white, and make sure that you put this widget here somewhere on the left. Now, let's also install the next widget, which is called the Monterey. Make sure that you also install it like this and then click on the install button. And then once you have it installed, you will see this screen and make sure that you toggle every single widget you want on your desktop to on. For example, here, I'm gonna put the monitoring, the calendar, the clock, and also the not notes. And then for the appearance here, you will put widget padding to zero, widget radius to eight, and then for the theme to dark. However, you can also change this to blur or color, whatever you prefer. I think that this dark version looks super nice. And once you've done pretty much that, you can see here that I also have different sizes of the widgets. For example, if you want to resize any of the widgets, you can just right click on them and click here on large, for example. And this is what the calendar in large size looks like. Here, I'm gonna put it to white and place it next to this MII power. And then here, you can also change the size of the clock, for example, put it to the large and maybe put it to the white. And this is where I will put them and maybe put this one to here and put this one to here. Now let's move on to the last widget, which is called the Jack score. Make sure that you install it like you would any other Rainmeter widget. And then once you have it installed, you can go here to the Rainmeter and here you will find this widget folder called Jack score. And then here go inside the main folder and go here to the settings. Make sure that you double click on the settings.ini file. And then here, go to the homepage, just like this. Then here, you will go to the library. 
and make sure that you install this widget. It's called modular players. So you can click on it and then here you will see this green download arrow. Click on it and it should install on your computer. Now to enable it, you will here go to this left menu and click on this toggle to activate it. And then here go to the general and click on this option. So this is pretty much the style. You can click here on this Windows 11 style and then go here to the style options. And then for the blur variant, click here on acrylic. For the widget scale, I will put here 0.68. And then for the background color, you will change this to 3 times 255 and then click on enter and make sure that you also separate them with comma. So just like this and click on enter. And now you should have this widget right here and place it on top of this calendar widget. And this is basically our setup right now. We have this super sleek wallpaper. We have this super nice start menu with the blur effects. We also have here this notification center and also this file explorer, which looks in my opinion, super impressive. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as well. And I will also put every single tool mentioned in this video linked below in the video description. Now, with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.